Hi there, this is Christian from Langchain. Today we are fixing one of the most frustrating problems in agent development. Tools that fail at the worst possible moment. Because let's be honest, we all have been in the situation where we want to demo our shiny new agent, but then random API calls just fail, or a third-party integration just throws a random 500. And in a typical agent, one tool call and one tool call failure might cause the entire result to become garbage. Or in cases where your model is actually be able to revive from it, it will cost you a lot of more tool calls and tokens to actually create quality results. And that's just not acceptable in a production environment. That's exactly why we developed a tool we try middleware to encounter these types of problems. In this video, I will show you how to automatically retry flaky tool calls and how you can retry only on specific errors. This will make your agent more resilient, reliable, and production ready. Let's dive in. Now let's take a look into the Langchain docs. If you open docs.langchain.com, you can find under the TypeScript section all the built-in middlewares that the Langchain package provides. One of these middlewares is going to be the tool retry middleware, which you can import directly from the Langchain package. That middleware allows a couple of configurations. One is going to be max retries, which is essentially the maximum amount of times we retry the tool call. Then you are able to define the tools that you want to retry. This can be a list of tool instances or the tool name itself. You can configure a callback that is being called every time a tool is going to be retried. And you have a callback on failure that allows you to call a function whenever all the retries are exhausted. You also additionally can define a backup factor, which increases the delay of the retry tool call. You can define an initial delay in milliseconds, as well as a max delay in milliseconds, uh, and the jitter, which creates a randomness uh, whenever you retry that tool call. Now, if we jump into our agent sandbox, we have one scenario where we look into the tool retry behavior. And if you look into the code, we again define a Next.js endpoint that passes along a message to our tool retry agent. And that tool retry agent defines a model and a get weather tool that simulates or has a simulation uh, for network failures. That function essentially calls or fails for the first two calls and then passes on the third one. So if we define our agent, we pass on the model, we pass on the get weather tool, and we, we define our tool retry middleware with three retries. That means that two failures happen and we retry again, and then our tool will be succeeding. Uh, we have a retry on function that allows us to define when we retry the tool. And this, in this case, only happens in case of a network error. We define our backup to be two. So the first delay is going to be one second. The second delay of the tool we uh, try going to be two seconds. And the next one is four seconds and so on. Our initial retry for the first tool call will be one second, but we are capping the delay at eight seconds. We introduce a little jitter to create some randomness. And on the failure, in case of all tool calls continue to fail, we will return an error message to the agent. Now, if we try this out, you're going to see that the tool call is a little bit delayed. It takes a second because it retries, but then ultimately succeeds to fetch the weather for both tool calls. So by adding just a simple tool retry middleware, we are able to retry tool calls that randomly fail to make our agent more stable. All right, that's a tool retry middleware in action. We took a flaky, failure-prone Weather API, made it fail on purpose, and watched the agent recover automatically using retries, exponential backoff, and jitter. This is exactly the type of reliability you need once your agent start interacting with real-world systems. Systems that time out, break randomly, for reasons we probably never understand. This middleware allows your agent to stay more resilient, avoid crashing workflows, and handle failures the way real production apps should. No custom retry loops, no manual error handling, just a clean centralized way that makes every tool and agent more robust. If you want to explore this example or adapt it in your own tools, you can check out the full source code down below. I would love to see what you're building with it next. See you in the next video.